Good morning from Rugby, North Dakota. Nice little town here in the northern part of the state. About to deliver my steel here. Picked it up yesterday in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Somebody here wants some steel. Look at that house on the left. Awesome. I love small town, small towns. They got so much more character and culture, it seems. Okay, what are we doing? It's right turn up ahead here, right? Okay. Mandy. Right on first street northwest. Aha! Beat you to it, Mandy. I already told him. Hopefully it won't take too long to get me unloaded. Because once I'm unloaded, I'm just going straight back home. And then I've got to leave early Sunday morning for a Wisconsin. Hopefully I won't need to do too much to secure that load. Ah. <laughs> just talk to the receiver here. And I gotta untarp it outside. Just being a big baby right now. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I'm used to it. I can take it. Oh, just waiting for this guy here now, and I'm gonna go turn around over there, and uh, we unload just behind me. It's not so bad. It's not like it's that cold. Is he waiting for me? No, he doesn't even know I'm here yet. No, he hasn't looked at me. No, I don't do this every day, and I don't recommend doing it every day. But I trugged a Red Bull before I got here. <sighs> wow, you ever watch that uh, Jim Carrey movie? Uh, what's it called again? Yes Man? Where he like chucks a bunch of Red Bulls. You know, I watched the, the special features of that DVD, or Blu-ray, and uh, that was Jim Carrey's actual legitimate first time ever drinking an energy drink, so that was a real reaction to it. That's pretty cool, eh? Jim Carrey's one of my favorite actors. You know he's actually Canadian? The more you know, we're funny people. We're a bunch of goofs, that's what we are. We don't take much seriously, except working. Have to have a good work ethic. We're just being unloaded here now. It took a little while because there's a couple of trucks in front of us to get unloaded. But he's gonna come there with a zoom boom. Unload a few stacks at a time. These things are heavy. Just these three stacks here, you see that? 45,000 pounds. Very close to it. Oh, he's pushing the dunnage right out of there, okay. All right, there we go. heavy. That is some heavy stuff. So I'm on Highway 2 here in North Dakota headed eastbound. This highway sort of runs sort of parallel to I-94. I-94 is uh, a ways, ways down south from here off to our right. And Canada is up here off to our left. Probably about uh, 100 miles or so. All right. You know, the majority of the population in Manitoba, and Canada, but especially Manitoba, lives within 100 miles of the U.S. border, right? So I'm 100 miles on this side of the border now. Can you imagine if that was all the population of the United States from here to our left towards Canada? <laughs> the whole nation is south of us yet. That's how more populated U.S. is from Canada. It's interesting to think about those things. Those are, those are the kind of things I think about because I'm weird. But I'm actually going to be taking a shortcut. Mandy here wants me to go all the way to the I-29 at Grand Forks and then turn north. But I took a look at Google. Google knows a shortcut that'll cut 30 miles or 50 kilometers off my route to the border. Which could possibly get me home, you know, almost a half hour sooner. So I'm going to try it out. Not very often I'm in this part of North Dakota. Usually I stick to the interstates, right? Because I take the most direct route to my destination. Not very often my destination is way up here, just south of the border. We're in Devil's Lake, North Dakota now, and I decided I'm not gonna take the shortcut. The first turn Google wanted me to make off of this road was onto a no truck route. <laughs> like, nope, 
I gave Google a chance and she let me down. So I don't trust her. So we're just gonna take Highway 2 here right to the I-29 and go straight up there. That way I don't gotta worry about it. And it's pretty well straight through all the way. I mean, Highway 2 here obviously isn't a freeway. We got traffic lights and whatnot. But once we hit the I-29, it's a straight shot all the way home. Well, that looks like fun. Wish I could be pulling one of those. Wonder if I will one day. Well, I, I don't got a low boy trailer. We don't have any low boys on our fleet, so chances are I probably wouldn't ever pull one of those. But it would be fun, I must say. We're back in Canada here, just turning on to Highway 59. Gotta go drop the equipment off at the yard here and then book it home. It's a little later than I wanted it to be. It's seven o'clock already. By the time we get home, it's gonna be late. Britt and I, I believe, are planning to finally put away our Christmas stuff. We've taken it all down, or she took it all down already, but we gotta actually put it away. And that was our plans for today. First, I gotta get onto the road here. For some reason, everybody at seven o'clock wants to get on the road on a Friday. Shouldn't you be at the cabin already, people? Get out of my way. So I'm just at the yard right now. I'm gonna drop this empty flatbed behind me in the empty lineup. I've already got my load here uh, for next week. I just wanna see what it is. It looks like it's a load of lumber. Super easy. It's on a drop deck too. I'm gonna find where they left it. I'll give you guys a look at it. I wanna take a look at it myself. I wanna know what we'll be dealing with. Oh, is this it here? That's it right here. Oh my. Okay, all right, that's it. That's my load right there. All that lumber. It's going to Warrens, Wisconsin. It's about 10 to 11 hour drive from here. Gotta bring it there for Monday morning, so I'll be leaving Sunday morning. Cool. You ready to go home, Diesel? You ready to go home? So I'm just getting everything together here real quick. I wash my laundry and do all my laundry every weekend, so I like to have fresh bedding even though I only slept in it, what, once this week? Still, I'm gonna be in this truck for a week, for next week, so uh, I wanna make sure all my bedding and whatnot is fresh and clean for when I get back in here. So I'm gonna get all this stuff into the car, take the car home with me and Diesel in it, kiss my wife, shower, kiss her again, and I guess we're gonna clean up the Christmas stuff today, something exciting like that. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting evening planned, everybody. Glad you're here. So we made it home here, and it is officially uh, time to clean this all up. Well, it's been time for almost a month now. <laughs> Britt had asked me to help her with this uh, about three weeks ago already. Yeah. And I have been procrastinating and procrastinating like oh. a good husband. Oh, my. And so she, she says. We've been procrastinating. We like Christmas. We don't like to say goodbye to it. But hey, it's only like 40 some weeks till Christmas 2018. But I already took the star off the top, so that's a big start already. Got it here. I'm gonna package this all up, put it away neatly because it's gonna come out again next Christmas. Take the tree down. And then we'll probably uh, watch a movie or something. We need a bigger TV. Yep. Hey, Google. Where can I find the cheapest, biggest TV? Sorry, I don't understand. Why are you talking so quiet again? Did my wife turn your volume down? <laughs> Maybe. Hey Google, turn your volume up to 80. She said she didn't understand, you couldn't hear that? I can never hear it. I'm deaf.